when it comes to love, you need moon compatibility. You need Venus compatibility. You don't even have to have sun sign compatibility. But at base level, we got to get the moon right. We got to get the Venus right. And my God, we got to get the Mars right. Because you can have all that, but if you're having terrible sex, it's not going to work. I don't care what you're saying now, but who wants to commit to 30 years of terrible sex? Nobody. Nobody that's grown. Only 20-year-olds think that doesn't matter. When a 20-year-old realizes that life is long and wide and they're going to live to be 80 and 90, it starts to matter. So base level, moon, Venus, Mars, and communication. Let's get some Mercury in there. Because if you don't know how to speak words that the other can hear, I don't know how you're going to get to any of the other stuff. Like, it's, it's just not happening. All these things are very important. They may not seem important, but after being with somebody for a while, they will become important. And if your natural disposition is incompatible, then you're basically committing yourself to constantly working on these things. Like, life is hard enough. Like, I'm not trying to make it harder than it needs to be. I don't know about you. Whatever I can cut myself some slack, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, let's get some basic things together. We can work on the other stuff. But if we don't know how to talk to each other, we have no sexual chemistry. When I express my feelings, you do not understand what I, what I mean. Or if you, don't, you have no capacity for emotional <laughs> availability, then yeah, it's not going to work.